So this was recorded over at my Twitch, link in the description, and as such, the language is foul and the humor is adult. If your discretion is advised. The field captains expected me to report back to her office once I finished my mission. Right. What? So there's a clock now. I'm finally free. Sleeping level 1. <laughs> skill that improves by getting a good night's sleep. Higher skill levels raise max HP and slightly increases max RP, strength, intelligence, and vitality. Okay. We're finally in it. Neat. La -dee -da -dee -day. Oh, I off to work. Have fun. don't know if you know who she was talking about. Captain Lydia. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? What? Well? Uh, I mean, everyone's so friendly. Are you really? You're not a duck. Huh? No, never mind. Hey! Yes. Yes. All right. What is Livia's voice actress? I need to check that real quick. It's important. Uh, where did I put my phone? Up there. Wait, I, I, th I think I think that's Sophie. Is that Sophie? Is this Sophie? I thought it was a Neptunia character at first, and then my brain went, but maybe not. Maybe it's Sophie. Uh, I'm checking now. So obviously she's Rune Factory Five, Livia. She's the character in Demon Slayer, Tales of Rise. Uh, She's felt in ReZero. Oh, I saw Roa, Roa in Pokemon Masters. She's happy in Three Houses. Mako in Kill a Kill. Keep going until I Silica from Sword Art. She's been in too much. I'm only back to 2017 at this point. Oh, she was Nepgear in uh, Cyber Dimension Neptunia. Himiko and Chiaki. If it's Chiaki, yes. She, she's Sophie. She's Sophie. I fucking knew it was Sophie. <laughs> okay, enjoy your sleep, Em. Just know that Sophie is here, and while she's not doing alchemy anymore, now she's a lolly. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. Priscilla's issue, report back. Got it. That's not who I was trying to talk. I don't like the hitboxes on those. I 
I haven't met Julian yet, so no. Walking skill up, huh? Harry's, come on, now's not the time to stand idly by. There's a mystery afoot and a big one at that. Really? Yeah, according to my investigation as we speak at this very moment. Yes? Nobody in this whole town has a single problem. Huh. On days like this, we usually have at least one request for an errand or missing items or something, but not today. No, no one, not one person has any trouble with anything at all. This isn't normal, it can't be. What in the world is going on here? The plot thickens. <laughs> the someone I see so the the dearth of mysteries to solve is a ha mystery in and of itself. Please open the door. Um We're gonna do the first directive first. To Ares. Once you've read once you've read this, head over to the silo and talk to Eliza. They're they should tell you know how the request system works. Should. Upgrades. Expand the size of my bag. Huh. Okay, sure. I made my bag bigger. Now I can carry around a lot more stuff. Not bad, not bad. Looks like you're getting the hang of this. Just as you did now, you can use seed points to make all sorts of new rules that will help the town grow. What are seed points? You saw them displayed in the upper right corner when making that directive just now. It represents how much people trust you in numerical form. You'll earn more seed points by helping people out around town or taking care of unruly monsters. You can even earn them by shipping items or chatting to, to people at each day, every day. Depending on how well you do, you can also earn them during festivals. Festivals? Did I say something you could... You could interrupt me? No, I think not. In any case, let's try making a directive for a festival. But first, I'll set you off some seed points as a little present. You receive 1,000 seed points. Don't make me work any harder than I have to, okay? Alright, let's dish out some directives. Festivals. Uh, yeah, let's do the cooking contest, as that is very soon from now, and I'd like to be able to do it. Let's do it. Let's get to work! Alright! I used a director to schedule the cooking contest. Now we wait for Spring 6th to arrive. You're doing pretty well, all things considered. But since you're still learning the ropes, I'll keep an eye on you for a little while. You won't be able to issue many directives at first, but you'll gain access to more over time. Try solving some big cases or talking to the townsfolk. You can even try acquiring some new furniture. So, I was just thinking. From what I can tell, making directives seems like a pretty serious responsibility. Like, shouldn't the mayor or someone important be in charge of this? Wait a minute, does that mean... Right, this used to be Livy's job. Her job. Then why am I in charge now? There's no way I could take on such an important job. Well, stop panicking so much. True, making a directive does give you a lot of power. And depending on how you wield that power, you can make a lot of people happy or very unhappy. I'm gonna make a guess to the next line here. It requires trust, so you you have to earn that power something along those lines. But directors aren't the be-all and end-all situ situation solution to every problem, and like I said, you're limited to what you can do at first. But still, I... No buts, just listen to me. What happens next depends entirely on you. Only you can decide whether you want to wield this power. You don't have to issue directives if you don't want to. That's a perfectly reasonable option, especially since dealing with all this is a pain in the butt for me too. But you can actually hear my voice and Livy picked you out herself. So with you in charge, I think we can pull off some pretty amazing things. 
Hmm. You certainly seem less enthusiastic about this. Cheer up! I'll go ahead and tell Livy that you completed her request just fine. Skill up. Leadership. How does leadership work? Skill that improves as you lead a party or fellow adventurers. Higher skills raise strength and intelligence, increases the amount of damage your party deals out, and decreases the amount they take. That's pretty important. Skill that improves with each step you take. Higher skill will slowly increase max HP, RP, and vitality. Good job. I'm glad that you and Eliza seem to be getting along. I hope you have lots of you get lots of work done together. Nice. Use furniture. So I'm supposed to be doing this. Kinda wanna do this. Kinda! Maybe. I should do this though. I'll wait until closer to noon. I'll do this for now. Paul might have been to give you the storage box as a housewarming present. He receives a storage box. Do you know what to do with furniture? Well, it doesn't really matter if you do or not, because I'm going to tell you anyway. How helpful. Take this storage box. You can stick pretty much anything except for food and other perishables in it. Place your furniture wherever you want. Do you ever feel like redecorating? Ah, then inspect any piece of furniture and select pick up to move it. You can also destroy furniture that's getting in your way, but I wouldn't recommend doing that to anything of sentimental value. Basically, you can leave the storage box in your room. Try playing around with it later to see what it can do. My storage box. Let's pick it up. I'm buff! Calling on my, my buff boys. We rowdy. Also, I feel like this is just wrong having this here. Let's pick it up. I'm just glad time doesn't move when I'm in here. Hey, why can't I set this down here? Pick it up. Close enough for now. Oh, no, no, no. I just want to see what happened. My walking skill went up again. Uh, let's do it. My watering skill has already gone up too. Okay, uh, that's quite a few more skills. So watering already to level 3. Skill needed to use water magic. Higher skill levels increase max RP and reduces RP consumption. Intelligence, magic defense, water magic, water... Water magic attack also slightly increase. Farming. Skill needed to use farm tools efficiently. Higher skill level reduces RP consumed while also raising max HP, RP, and vitality. So... 
yeah, I just keep it up. Um... Skill up. I didn't actually see what that said, so... Love. Skill need to use love magic. Higher skill levels increase max RP and the amount of healed by love spells. Intelligence and magic defense also slowly increase. So I guess that's from planting. So... I have an iron ore node here. One, two. <sighs> Come on. There. I am curious. Throwing. Yep, sure enough. Higher skills raise strength, vitality, and attack, as well as increase throwing damage and reduce RP consumption. Skills that increase when you throw items or monsters. So there are a thousand different ways to make yourself stronger and more capable of doing things. So we're going to try to abuse them all. Wait, did I seriously just get a skill by accident? If you want to spruce up your place with more furniture, then head over to the Studio Palmo. Studio Palmo. Leadership. Okay, that's from doing that. Gather lumber. Chop up stumps and branches with an axe to collect lumber. Report back to the task board when you're finished. Heck yeah. Sunny salutations, Ares! Have you had the chance to use our humble little shop services yet? We don't take cash for our products. You pay us on lumber and other materials instead. That's why I'd like to have you to have this. You received a cheap axe. Use this axe to chop some of the branches in your field and turn them into lumber. Um. So about that. Hey, okay, got it. Uh, trying to flip this. Obviously, you need a place to store your materials, so I should bestow upon you a lumber stone box. You sure see you've received a lumber stone box. You can use this to store both lumber and material stone. With this full, pay a visit to Studio Palmo. That's quite the sales pitch. Um. Okay, I have one lumber. I guess I'll just set that right here. Slowly gain skills as I go. Oh. Apparently, I guess... Chopping gives me earth and wind? Interesting. As well as, of course, logging. Skill needed to cut down lumber. Higher skill levels reduce RP consumed while also raising max HP, RP, and vitality. Uh, these are all the same just for wind and... They're all the same as the water. Just elemental specific. Try shipping. Place to turn it in the shipping. Cannot do that. <laughs> I don't have a turnip ready yet, so we're gonna finally do what it wants me to do. Unlock the restaurant's door. Hi, Aries, are you here for my request? Yep. This the walk door? Yes. Uh, 
Hmm. Right, it won't open. Did you lose the key? No, but my big sister has the only copy. Is that so? Alright, then we need to go find her. Um... See, that's the thing. She's inside the restaurant, but she hasn't come out in days. What? Oh no, do you think something happened in there? We have to do something. No way. Darn it, no response. Uh. So, uh, do I have your permission to break down the door? Huh? I mean, yes. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> uh, you suck. Oh, it's because got what's going on. So a sister is locked inside, but we can't get in. Step aside. Sturdier than it looks. Is it okay for me to pulverize the door? Probably. Wait a moment. Riker, will you please just pick the door? <laughs> You're a thief, right? Riker? Where blacksmiths are all brawn and no brain. Guess when you go all you've got is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I I don't feel like that's the correct use of that. I'm right. I'm, I'm exactly right about what he is. Wow. It's open. For someone like me, this lock is child's play. Someday I'll be Palmo's right-hand man, you'll see. We're doing this for a reason, right? Get in there. Priscilla! Yes! Beautiful building, but oh, oh, ah, huh. welcome to the family. Who are you? <laughs> you're Elsha. Hey, your love interest. Hi. Quite the acrobat. Oh no, apparently it's Fuka. Fuka you too. Not what I expected. <sighs> Give me just a moment. I have, I, I got the, the, the good copy of this, the Earthmate thing. And it came with an official Seed Ranger handbook. I took a vague look at it and I saw something about a translation page. Here we go. Sumawa. Uh...
Sue isn't in here. How about Mawa? Yeah, okay, nothing in there. <laughs> this wasn't helpful. This is so typical of her. Uh, Priscilla? Who on earth is this? That's right, you two haven't met. This is Fuka. She works part-time at a restaurant. Pepperamian gal? Um, gal means you, so nice to meet you, I guess? Yeah. Likewise, or should I say, Rar? <laughs> she understands you just fine. Oh, really? Memrame. Um. Yeah, I didn't get any of that. She knows lots of words. Wow. Incredible. No, she's very determined to learn. No, I mean, you're incredible, Priscilla. How can you understand what Fuka means? Oh, that's easy, Aries. I'm sure you'll pick it up as you get to know her better. Fuka's language is less heard than seen. Seen? This is getting complicated. Oh, well. Okay, call him a name, call him a name, so what's your name? Name. Amazing. Huh, we're pretty good. Strange, as I watch her hand gestures and facial expressions, the words just kind of formed in my mind. Now you and I are friends. Uh, hi, Marys. Thank you for being my friend, Fuka. That was human speech. Priscilla... yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, she... She is adorable. What's going on? Lackadaisical lady. Oh. Here's the game's token boobs. Priscilla's sister, right? How about you? I'm Aries, the new seed trainee. A pleasure to meet you. Hmm. Jeez. Oh, no. Priscilla's the younger sister. That's why I get the honor of running this dump. What are you talking about? This place is beautiful. Speaking of, I'm due for another nap. Mind taking over for a week or two? Uh... <laughs> Thank you! Alright! Uh, what do I have? I got potions. Recovery potions. I definitely have nowhere near 150. I could sell these if I want to. I'd get 400G. 
I probably shouldn't, though. You look familiar. We met earlier, I'm Ares. Oh, nice to meet you again. Okay, well, I guess I'm done here. Look at the size of this anchor, but why do they choose a ship theme for the restaurant? <gasps> Margaret! Mark, Mark, where? What? Oh, you're right there. Nice. Rune Factory 4 was a good game. It had some issues with it, but overall I really enjoyed Rune Factory 4. Hey Julian. Oh hey, it's you. Hi there, I'm Ares and I just joined Seed. Your name's Julian, right? It's nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. Mm. Alright, listen up Ares, I'm not gonna let you one-up me forever. Wait, what? I'm gonna work super hard and get way stronger than you. Then I'll be the one rescuing Hina. Just you watch. <laughs> sure, I guess this means he sees me as his rival. All right. Walking skill up again. Just leave that for now. What's my skills at? Not bad. Not bad. Slowly getting stronger. Before I go back and turn in my request, I'm gonna stop in and... I think it's... I think it might actually be this one right up here. Is this the general store? Can I go in the back? I can! Hey there, nice to see you, Ares. Hi, Terry. So, what do you sell here, if you don't mind me asking? We're general stores. I'd like to say we've got a bit of everything, but to tell the truth, our selection is rather limited at the moment. We're mainly in the business of selling seeds, farming tools, and collectibles. We don't have much in stock right now, though. Uh, I see. Guess I can pay for my items here. Um, all sorts of goods fill the shelves. I need to resist the urge to go on a shopping spree. Yo. Duck! Weather as nice as this makes me want to have a picnic inside. What about you? Mm. Yuck, I thought I smelled a bakery. Never did like bread. Though if you, if they had made bread from rice flour, I might try it. What do you have for sale? Welcome. All right, let's spend a bit of our hard-earned cash. Come back again. Partially just because I want to start power leveling my skills faster. Nice. Also, money is important, but yeah. Hmm. There's one particular type of donut that I seriously recommend, but uh. Probably shouldn't mention that to anyone. Farming of what?
and love up. Probably should have planted one up there. Skill up. Slowly becoming more capable. Now that it's finally afternoon, let's turn in this request. Well done. No. The townspeople did all the work, I barely lifted a finger. That's so, how well that's to be expected at first. Keep tackling the task board, that's how you'll improve. Um I should take on lots of requests. Yes, yes let me put on my captain and explain how that they're categorized. Sometimes people come directly to us with requests, but most of the time you'll find them posted to the task board. Anyone in town has serious has a problem or request they'd like us to take care of, we'll post it there. You can only accept a limited number of requests per day, so choose whatever you think you can handle. You can see how much progress you've made on a request right here. If you decide you can't finish your request, then open up the camp menu and cancel on the ranger notes section. Got it, but I'll do my best to see every request to completion. Good answer, I like your attitude. Just don't bite off more than you can chew, alright? We mostly receive requests relating to finding lost items or making deliveries. Sometimes we even receive quests to deal with monsters that have run amok. That sounds kind of dangerous. Just a bit, yeah, but that's when Seed's supposed to step in. Monsters enter our world through gates. The equipment we use to fight them has been enchanted with a special spell called Tamitaya. This spell sends any monsters to be defeat right back to their own world, the Forest Beginnings. That's how it works. By the way, you should take this received a beginner's crest. What's this? Open up the camp menu to go to the ranger notes and look for the seed crest page. You can equip it there. It should protect you for the time being. Usually you're in crests uh, by using your catch skill to capture wanted monsters, but I'll make an exception this one time. We can discuss them in detail later. Hmm, I think that should do for now. You can respond to whatever request you please. Still, no need to push yourself too hard. Disagree? If I'm not, like, maximizing my stuff, min-maxing, then what's the point? Oh. I've been playing on PC recently, and I have my thing going so that it's... It's swapped to, like, Xbox controls, despite me using this controller, so I'm having to relearn the A and B button again. A crest for rookie rangers. Increase your vitality and even once you use the bats for free, but it's only for newbies, which means you can't use it once you start climbing the ranks. Uh, heck yes. Free bats? Heck yeah! Wait. Um, my HP, what? <laughs> I don't think it was 300 before. I, th I think it was like less, less, a good bit less than that. Okay, okay. Hey, Eliza. I'd like to make a directive. Uh, let's check out the licenses. I could spend 200 points on a forging or a crafting license. It's a thousand points to start any of the 
festivals, and I don't have to worry about that until the bean toss contest on the 10th. So I might want to save up for that contest. Um, I could expand stuff, but I'm not really low in space currently. <laughs> I forgot that these are funny. I can remove all hats that I've given as presents. Now they're mine again! I can destroy all furniture in my... I don't know, man. <clears throat> yeah. We're not even through the first true day of the game. Despite me having streamed for how long? Uh, made it slightly too big so I can't see well. I've been streaming for over two hours, two and a half hours, and I haven't made it through the first, like, playable game day. I mean, I'm assuming I know the answer to this. I'm wrong. Hammer now. Stop. Hammer time. Can I just take one of these? Please? I hear you started doing farm work. There's no walk in that's no walk in the park. You you sure you know what you're doing? I'm a bit worried about you, so. You don't mind if I give you a little test. Here's a turnip. See if you can ship it properly. I thought that meant that I would have to grow- Okay, never mind. You received a turnip. All you need to do is stick that turnip in your shipping bin. Easy, right? Proceeds to fail by giving it as a gift to somebody. Yeah, yeet! <laughs> uh, that, that brings me joy. Uh, did it work? Uh, maybe I have to wait until the next day? I don't want to, th you know, sell that because it's only worth 2G. It'd be better to just break down the stone. So for 44G, that's not bad. I should save up for now, though. Okay, so tomorrow morning I'll be done with that one. Uh... Hey, Doug. Bye, Doug. I'll talk to Morton later. For now, I need to head over to the bathhouse. Oh, 
Hina! Oh, hi, Ares. Hi, Hina. It's good to see you again. Yeah, do you feel better now? Nothing hurts? Nope, I'm fit as fiddle. Oh, Wu, I'm so glad. Yeah, okay. You told me this already. Bathe me. Yeah, hey, nice weather today, huh? How's your seed work going? I'm getting by. I hear you. Things ever go south, I'll hire you at the inn. Oh, Margaret. I'll sh yeah, same thing as before. How does one take a bath? Maybe it's not time yet? I haven't really got a tutorial on this or anything. And then there's the woman's side, of course. Women's women. I don't know, man. Talking about those, got it. Sadly. Also, wait, is my RP constantly recovering? Or is it when I get skill ups or something? sword skill yet? I don't think I do. You probably need to actually hit things for your sword skill to go up. Well, I guess... Actually, I could go out of town... I can leave town. The what menu? This is how warp works. Got no regular turn spell. So the issue with leaving town right now is that I have less than 30 health. So if anything hits me, I am uh, not doing good. I'm sure it'll be fine though. Right? How fast does this go up? Short Sword is already over halfway to level 2 now. Short Sword is the perfect balance of attack and defense. Higher skill levels increase damage output and reduce RP consumption. Max RP and strength also slightly increase. 
walking skill once again. Right. Ah, a charm. A charm from lands far to the east protects you from misfortune by blocking critical hits. Crit resist 100%. Level up. It does not heal me, though. Good to know. Level up again. I have a max RP of 86 already. Doing good. Clippers! Ah! Wild. Why is that one purple? Why are you purple? Oh, it had a flower in its hair that was so cute, though! Pike Sashimi? For free? HP plus 120, RP plus 30, strength plus 1, for as long as it lasts. Uh, freshly sliced pike. Eat it with soy sauce. I could sew it for 13. Or... Yes. Eating skill up. Uh, eating, eating, eating. Where be... Almost level 3 now! Skill that improves as you eat. Higher skill will slowly increase max HP, RP, strength, intelligence, and vitality. Yeah, 96 already. It's so cute and must die! We don't accept this cute couple over here. Sorry, Mr. Orc. Nice. Cheap cloth. Nice. Huh? Do I get stuff? Like, skill level up? I don't think I do. Not in this one. Maybe. I feel like it should have already happened by now. Increase. You can now perform dash attacks. Press the R button to dash, and then press the B button to launch into a dash attack. <laughs> All right. And I got a cheap bracelet. Ah, that feels good, though. Old Rusty Bracelet slightly raises magic defense. I mean... I'm not getting crit. I'm not getting hit currently, so... Bye, Wooly. Oh, so those are fleeces, not Woolies. That's why they're so cute. So it's almost 4 p.m. I have max RP. So you just regenerate RP over time. Good to know. Is there anywhere where I can, like, use up RP? Defense up.
Level up again. I'm now level 5 with a max RP of 110. I've quadrupled my RP in this one day. They're majestic! I feel like too easy to juggle, too. Okay. So... What should I do? Like, time versus energy and all that. I really wish I knew if there was fields or anything around here that I could, you know, absolutely destroy. Oh, wow. They're cute! Kind of small. There's stuff over here. I didn't mean to eat that. Okay. Oh wow, that is a lot of enemies on screen at once. Oh wow. We had that happen to us now. I got greedy. Finally awake, are we? Honestly, now, you may be young, but we're not invincible, so you shouldn't behave so recklessly. Whenever your HP hits zero, you collapse on the spot, and then somebody has to bring you here. If you let that happen too often, then you'll have to pay a hefty fee for my services, understood? Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Not that I'm completely opposed to the idea. It'd give me more opportunities to experiment on you, after all. I just feel a shiver run down my spine. In addition to your HP, you need to keep an eye on your RP as well. After you run out of RP, you'll begin to lose HP instead. Oh, I didn't know that. Also, pulling an all-nighter will leave you f feeling fatigued, which will cause you to lose RP faster. You may even catch a cold that gradually drains your RP. But you're still young, so you should feel right as rain... Uh, yeah, right as rain sleeping the day away in your bed. So make sure you take a bath, eat lots of good food, and get plenty of sleep every single day. Good health starts with good habits. Got it. I'll be more careful from now on. Good, that's what I like to hear. Oh, and one more thing. You'll naturally recover RP by standing still, so remember to take a break every once in a while. Got it. So that's how that works. So I get a tutorial out of it. Hey, welcome. What can I do for you today? I want to chat. Why can't we have a different festival? Like, okay. Oh, it didn't actually waste the day. I thought it would be the next day or something. Oh. Can't make it. Ooh, you've got good taste. Do I? <laughs> to just not buy anything? Well, uh, I'm glad this happened because it was a good tutorial moment. Right. Walking skill up again. What's my RP? 111. Okay. I need to use up a bunch of RP and then go take a bath. Hey, Priscilla.
actually. Uh, that's how you do it. I said we do not have the uh, hammer yet, nor do I really know how to do that yet. Hopefully tomorrow. Wind and Earth. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Let's see. I was trying to actually interact with this. There we go. Twenty six lumber at this point. Not a bad start. Hey, Martin. Hmm. What is the fundamental tenet of forging? The secret of making something good lies in visualizing the person who used the finished item. Hmm. Uh, hello? Martin? What's up? Oh, Ares, something wrong? That's my line. I was standing... I was standing right here and you didn't even notice me. I guess I got caught up in my mental review of Master Derek's lessons. Does that happen often? Every once in a while, yes. When I focus, I lose sight of everything except for what's right in front of me. I was right in front of you, and yet you still didn't see me. Well, try to avoid doing it if when you're walking around, okay? It'd be terrible if you ran into something. Don't worry, I always keep some medicinal herbs on me for when that happens. Though it happens a lot, huh? Um, I want to be sure. My logging skill, right, is at 76%. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be taking RP, so that means it's not going to do this either. Yeah, unfortunate. We might not be able to use the trick today, but let's at least try to take a bath today, because I'm sure there's a bathing skill. Yo, Ares, what brings you here? I'm always happy to see ya! Hey, Murkomo, could you explain to me exactly how the inn works? <laughs> That'll be easy. The best thing about our inn is the baths. We get water straight from the source, which means we've got all natural hot spring baths here. Making a quick dip won't just relieve your, relieve your RP, it'll also instantly wipe out any fatigue. Oh, that's wonderful. We even throw some medicinal herbs into them to, to make medicinal baths. They've got all sorts of beneficial effects, so make sure you have one sometime. Let's see what else. Ah, I know. Here's a little freebie just for you, Aries. Your first five baths are on the house. Wait, really? Are you sure? If I say it's fine, then it's fine. Think of it as my way of thanking you for saving Hina. In fact, I wish I could do even more for you. Well, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you at the blue moon a lot of the future. Even comfy weather tonight. Eh, good to see you. What can I do for you today? Hmm. The growth bath, right? Okay, so can that one increase your XP gain by 25% for 24 hours? That'll be 10,000 G. Okay, what other kinds? 
There's the spiritual bath. Spiritual bath, right? Okay, soaking that one will boost elemental attack damage by 20% for a day. That'll be 10,000 G. Mm. The bold bath, right? Okay, soaking that one will let you deal 20% more damage for 24 hours. Peaceful bath, right? Okay, soaking that will increase your HP by 50%. Nice. Those are actually pretty good effects. New Rangers get to use our baths for free, so go have yourself a good soak. Skill up, huh? Before I even get in the bath? Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves, at least. Or staring off in the distance because they're all high. One of the two. Thanks for your patronage. Come back soon. Bathing. Knew there would be skill for that. I'm almost level 3 in it. Skill that improves when you take a bath. Higher skill levels increase max HP and RP and vitality. A must have for those who like to keep themselves squeaky clean. So tomorrow that will go up even more. I'm already at 117. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm trying to learn the controls. Let's head to my bed real quick. That I can save before I go out on an adventure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's convenient enough. Oh, the gates I destroyed are actually still gone. Three. Oh. And I one-shot Woolies now. That's... Too fast. <laughs> My three shot works. Treasure chest mine! Right. Irelith Sashimi. Nice. The two shot work archers. Okay, at least the chip squeaks are still a bit tanky. They're a bit stronger around here.
Let's see. Is there an axe skill for using these? Stop. Stop. I will end you. Yeah, axe and hammer. Maybe if the enemies stop running away like cowards. Don't run for help. Sad thing is it doesn't cost RP to do this. I was trying to find a way to use up my RP so I didn't feel like I was wasting. But at least I'm, you know, still getting good skill ups. Drop that for now. Short Sword's already level 7, on to level 8. I have a max RP of 131, over 100 points more than I did at the start of the day. There we go. More stuff. Yes. Yes. All right. Water seeds and pumpkin seeds. I don't believe I can plant pumpkin seeds right now. Taking a shot in the dark and saying that. Okay. Water seeds. Grows feed for your monsters. Hardy ones may grow again after harvesting. And pumpkin seeds. Grows well from spring to s I'm wrong, but not in winter. Easy on the soil may grow again after harvesting. So... I guess I'll teleport back in a minute and do that. Ow. Okay. Not strong enough for those guys. So let's just keep running around, exploring. Nice. My walking skill goes up. Nothing over there I care about. There's one thing they have in this game, it's a lot of everything. Both monsters and items.
What is happening? What kind of monsters are these? Okay. Not bothering. I'll teleport back and do some farming in a minute. I'm actually getting fairly far. I can get a good stockpile of stones through this. Then, over the next few days, whenever I get my... Uh, Thing, I'll be able to do this. A hammer. That's what I'm trying to say. I'll get plenty of stone. Is this worth it? It's not, but it's fine. teleport back. Return home. Okay. And let's take care of my farming. Not the one I meant to do. That's how that works. Glad I figured that out. Okay, uh... I keep pressing the back button thinking it's gonna be that, but it's nev it never is. And I just keep doing it. sell anything worth a good amount. 156! Huh! I'd say that's worth shipping right now. Um, yes, that would be like a full heal, but 156 would buy me a lot of turnips. Unless I, you know, care a lot about one of these other ones. 45, 9... gonna ship one. Oh, I just realized that the reason this is so good is that it's a level 10. 
Ah. Huh. That makes sense. Full heal? A lot of money for this point. Full heal? A lot of money. Ah. Huh. I don't have woolies yet. I can try to grind another one of those. That's 500G. I want that. Um, very tempting. If I've shipped one of these, I actually want to keep it. Throw it at monsters, or you can use it in stuff. Ah, it's so freaking tempting. I'm not using that much RP currently. Or, well, it's, it's more than my max RP. It's also more than my max HP. I'll sell it. I'll use that money to instead, you know, plant more. In the morning, that'll be taken care of. Um... Grind up my throwing skill a little bit at the end of my day. There. Does this cost anything? 83. There. Doesn't appear so. One, two. It mentions something about the cost of uh, throwing, but I'm pretty sure that's just when you're throwing monsters with gloves. Today before midnight, so maybe I'll get a sleeping thing. 